What's up? Welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'm just gonna ride around here on a track I'm working on, a replica track of a local one, which is currently the track I'm riding for the most. It's, it's an old version, it's a 2014 version of the track. It's going the other way around nowadays. And get some features, it's a track, it's the 50cc track and part of the Enduro Trail. So stick around for the end or perhaps skip forward if you want to see everything. But the topic of today's video is how a rental servers ruined MX Sim Online, sort of. I'm not talking about ruining it online completely, it's just shaped it very, very differently. Back in the day, you used to have four servers, it used to be, or five servers, sort of. But the, you had the stock server, which is still around, unchanged, and that's 19800. You used to have nationals, which was. Well, first, it was just custom tracks, which later turned into the 2013 GPs and AMA tracks, I think. But it used to have tracks like Stewart Compound, uh, Hurricane Hills, um, Fort Winton, and so on and so forth. So it was a solid lineup of tracks, and previous to those. I think it was five tracks looping at the end, but previous to those, it used to have a huge lineup of tracks you could choose from, but it ended up being just a few tracks before it got to the national servers, which was Replica Nationals. And uh, 19802 used to be Races server for Supercross and National Races. 19803 used to be the Supercross server, which had Replica Supercross tracks on. And you had 19804, which was dump or the sewer or whatever that was called and that was basically you could be four players it was the stock tracks and you could do pretty much whatever and jlv wouldn't care it was just the dumps but that server nowadays is unfortunately gone and i don't know they split up old and new supercross tracks and stuff but to be honest i haven't really bothered too much as i've played on my own server being part of white's rune but basically in Early 2014, uh, mxsim.fr game servers launched uh, and uh, people could start running their own servers. In mid-2015 sometime, the Flowtech servers has launched, so people had another option. And um, Flowtech has mainly attracted um American audience, I would say, while if, uh, the mxsim.fr is more catering Europeans as well, MXSIM.fr do have servers in both US and Europe, but it's mainly European people using it, while I think Flowtech is only having American servers. But basically what happened here is that previous to these services launching, people used to be, especially on the Supergirl server, every night you would have a hard time to get into the server. You would, you would just say server full and you would just get a server full message every two seconds or however often it updates and i think very few people that started playing the game around this time or after that have seen that message but basically it was when the 22 slots of the server were filled up and there was no more slots for spectators um, basically you wouldn't get into the server so you would have to queue until someone left so there would be 22 riders 20 to 22 riders on the track at the same time and obviously not 22 riders finishing if you were lucky there were 20 or 80 people finishing but most of the time it was 15 plus people finishing the race so there was actually full blown races each and every night on the server plus when you got onto the server it was actually quite fun to be on there but after this after they launched the server says people started getting their own servers and no one got onto JLV servers anymore. So it was all of a sudden going from uh, just going onto JLV servers and riding with whoever to hey let's go onto my server and I will throw on the tracks we like. And that's basically it. So after this you saw people shifting towards private servers where you and your team or you and your friends hung out and I've certainly done the same having my own 24-7 server now for a few years so but it's sad it's game I think gaming overall 
is going towards a trend that you don't really need friends. You can just be alone or be very separated while before you sort of got into communities. And it seems like that's a common trend. I remember, for example, World of Warcraft. I remember the early days people talked about their guilds and how important it was and how they did 24, 36 hour raids, which is basically a long session playing. And today it's like you can get maximum level in one day, in a few hours it seems, if you're good and skilled and know what to do. But back in the day it used to be a grind and it used to be mean something to be the highest level. I never really played the game but that's how I interpreted my, my friends. And it's sort of the same all across gaming. Halo franchise is perfect example of that. You, that used to be the friends game where you got over to your friend's house and played the game. But nowadays, unfortunately, you can't even play split screen, so that's sad and all. But what I hope now is, after talking the whole show at LCQ, uh, it seems like Motocross the Dream, they want to try out and have their servers for... Um, yeah, they just want to have the servers around for a while, make sure it works and getting the community to go together and have fun and not just immediately split up as it happened in Sim. So I do wish Sim would go back to just using JLV servers. You can still find players on there and sometimes you can find a decent amount but it's, I've never been able to find full gates anymore which is quite sad. It used to be so much fun going on and knowing you'd have a full gate and just goofing around. But uh, it seems sad, it seems like the whole community uh, in community interaction is going away in a bit and it does suck for someone that's used to having a fun community to just hang around with it. It's sad, but I don't really know what to do beyond that. But I wish people would get back onto the servers, but taking a look at the server page, it has so many servers all over the place. And um, yeah, it's definitely nice to just be being hanging around with your friends trying out the latest tracks in your own style. But I do certainly miss the times where you would just go onto the stock servers, hit a full gate and just have fun. But I guess new times and stuff, so we'll see what happens in the future. I hope Sim can evolve back into what it was with servers and uh, we'll see. So. Uh, Let's hear your thoughts. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you agree? What's your opinion? So, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, and I'll see you next time.